Hey, King's Refuge here. Welcome back. Uh, this is probably going to be the last time that I'm going over this particular timeline. Uh, unless something gets uncovered. Which, um, undoubtedly, it will happen It's at some point. So, uh, I'll update it then. I'm with that. And uh, these are facts that anybody can look up. Go ahead and assume what you will. You know... Maybe I'll make another news, uh, made uh, another channel where I'll just discuss news. Uh, I don't particularly want to discuss my views. I don't want to get popped. So, you know, maybe I'll make a channel specifically for this. So, until then, you guys, uh, just come up with your own thoughts, ideas. Maybe comment down below what you think has happened. Maybe you think I'm crazy. Maybe you think I'm ugly. I don't know. Comment down below. It really helps me out. Alright, continuing here. On February 6, 2022, Biden says, If Russia invades, that means tanks or troops crossing the border of Ukraine again, there will no longer be a Nord, Nord Stream 2, Biden said. We will bring an end to it, I promise you. We will be able to do it. February 22, 2022, President President Biden makes a statement. Yesterday, after further and close consultations with our two governments, Germany announced that it would halt certification of the pipeline. Today, I have directed my administration to impose sanctions on Nord Stream 2 AG and its corporate officers. These steps are another piece of our initial tranche of sanctions in response to Russia's actions in Ukraine. As I have made clear, we will not hesitate to take further steps in Russia continues to escalate. September 26, 2022. Both Nord Stream pipelines explode exactly 17 hours apart. Nord Stream 2 around 2 a.m. Their, their time in the central eastern or not eastern. European time, Central European time, and Nord Stream 1 at 7 p.m. CET. Uh, also, on the 26th, the Denmark Geological Survey recorded two seismic readings at the same exact time of the Nord, Nord Stream pipelines exploding. That uh, verifies our time for us. Feel free to look that up. On 2, or February... 4th, 2003. U.S. finally shoots down a Chinese spy balloon that had been tracking for prior to two weeks before it reached the U.S. Biden takes hesitation before shooting it down. February 8th, 2003. Seymour Hirsch accuses U.S. Navy of destroying Nord Stream pipelines. February 10th through 12th, 2023, on a weekend. With no hesitations, the U.S. government shoots down three different balloons, which at the time was spun by most media outlets as being unidentified flying objects. Yeah. Okay. Well, go ahead and think what you want to think. I can't do that right now until I start my new channel. And then maybe I'll be able to give you an opinion. But until then, I don't want to get popped by whoever they, they got in charge. I can't remember. Susan stepped down. So, yeah, there you go. For all you new people out there, the the runner of the YouTube has stepped down for a new person to become in charge and rule over us. Yeah. Things are probably going to about to get worse. New ad apocalypse coming. I'm calling it right now. Anyways, uh, uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to be going over another timeline. It's pretty disturbing of all the fires, uh, radio, or toxic chemical leaks, derailments, and explosions. Whew, boy, we've had a lot of them. 
I don't know if it's just I haven't been following this and therefore all this information is new to me and it, it this is normal, maybe. Or it... <laughs> I've got so much to go over in that video. I cannot wait to go over that video. I hope I get a lot more views on that one. I've been working, working really hard to put it together without putting too much of my own information out there of what I think it, it is and whatnot. Anyways, maybe it's retaliation. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'm crazy. Comment down below. Tell me wearing tinfoil hat. Get out of here. Anything helps. Please like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in. This is King's Refuge signing out.